Turning now to Utah County, the city of Highland is one of the last cities in the state where you can't buy alcohol. Yeah, but that may change in the next few months. ABC 4's Annika Johns joining us live from Highland after speaking to city officials and residents about the potential new change and what it could mean for the city there, Annika. So Highland has been a dry city since 1977, but city officials say that recently a developer has come in wanting to expand the, uh, the city's restaurant services, but in order to do so, they say that the alcohol laws need to be changed. Highland is a city rooted in tradition, but that tradition may soon be changed. Highland is a dry city. We do not sell alcohol. And right now we have on the agenda that a developer is coming in. They would like to put in some nice sit down restaurants. But in order to do that, they are asking us to amend our alcohol laws and ordinances. In light of this request, the Highland City government is asking its residents to weigh in on whether or not these laws should be removed or kept in place. When asked what the general opinion is, Council Member Rodella says it all depends on who you ask. You know, the general reaction is there are some residents who would really like to keep Highland the way it is. There are other residents who are really excited about having some new restaurants in here, some dining options, and who feel that it's time to uh, see a little progress and to be able to to change some of the things that are on our books and have the city council look at those. I met with one Highland resident who says he believes it's time for Highland to take a step forward. I've been shocked by how overwhelming the support for this change has been and not because everyone wants to drink or even would consider that as an option, but because I think it moves the city forward. Warren continued saying that either way, he will be all right with the outcome, but he hopes his friends, neighbors, and others who live in the city make their voice heard in this decision. I think the main thrust of the council of residents that are interested and involved is just making sure people know about the survey and to fill it out and just make your voice heard one way or the other, because I, I think it's really important to listen and to and follow that voice of, of Highlands residents. So tonight there is a meeting discussing this potential law change. It's at 7 p.m. at the Mountain Ridge Junior High. Now officials wanted me to emphasize that tonight is not about making this final decision, rather about setting a time for when they will be making this final decision. When I was speaking to council members, they say that right now they're looking at either making this, this, this decision in November or January. Reporting live from Highland, Annika Johns, ABC4 News.